I'm John Risley, and I, I have a company called uh, Clearwater. It should be called something like Clearwater Capital or something rather than Clearwater Fine Foods. But we essentially invest in a number of businesses, telecommunications, with a company called Columbus Communications. We have a company called Ocean Nutrition, which is a health sciences company uh, based in Dartmouth. And then we have investments in the seafood business in both a uh, company called Clearwater and uh, Highliner Foods. Yeah, we're, we're in a number of businesses now because we have learned that, frankly, uh, you don't need to be an expert in a particular industry or a particular area in order to be successful in that category. In fact, very often it helps if you come into an industry asking questions that people who have grown up in the industry don't ask. It helps develop a new vision. It helps uh, think about opportunities that, that people in the industry might not have otherwise thought of. Thought of. So when you say we've gone from seafood to health sciences to, to telecommunications, we absolutely have experts in those fields in our, in our, in our companies. But I don't need to have a clue. Uh, I need to know how to attract good people. I need to know how to attract capital. I need to know how to incent people. I need to how, uh, know how to help organize uh, people. And I need to know how to, to spur people to, to do things that they might otherwise not do on their own. Uh, and those are ingredients that can help any, any, any business in any sector. And there's nothing like a good screaming match uh, in which you sort of get out and vent your frustrations and, uh, and, and say to somebody, look, you, you stupid son of a gun, don't you realize that you're going to do this or you're going to do that or have you thought about this or have you thought about that? It's in the context of those fights that we understand what the other guy is thinking and the perspective that he brings to the table. And, uh, and it may well be that your original decision remains unchanged and it may well be that you modify that decision and it may well be that you change your mind. But it's very valuable to have uh, access to that. And, and, and the relationships that don't work are relationships in which uh, the t two family members don't agree uh, and nobody says anything about it because then that just festers and festers and festers and then, and then when the situation uh, doesn't develop per perhaps as, as, as both parties might like or there's a problem or there's a mistake, then the other party sort of harbors this, this feeling that, you know, I was right and the stupid guy shouldn't have done this and the stupid guy shouldn't have done that kind of thing. So you, you, you really need to be conscious of that. I don't want to make decisions. In fact, I won't make decisions when people come to me with problems. I'll talk through their problems with them. Um, I'll offer guidance, advice, but I, I don't want them to come away uh, from discussions about problems with the feeling that I have given them an answer. Um, I failed them if I've given them an answer. Hopefully I have given them a sense of, uh, of empowerment, uh, a sense of the risks associated with the various options or alternatives that are open to them, uh, and a feeling that they, they have the right, the responsibility, uh, and the obligation to go away and, and make up uh, their minds as to what it is they want to do. And if it's the wrong thing to do, then they will not necessarily be in, in hot water as a consequence of, of having chosen the wrong, the, the wrong alternative. I've learned that when I, when I was very young, I thought money made you happy. And I thought that if only I had a million dollars, if only I had more than a million dollars, if only I had some bigger number, then that would be the equivalent to happiness. Uh, and I've now realized that money and happiness don't go together in the same sentence. There is absolutely no relationship between money and happiness. And the only thing that can bring happiness is family.